touching her. I already feel things that I am like, ooh, I want to be that. That's mm -hmm. going to be a fun one. So I'm going to corral her hair. Dun, dun, dun. I'm on camera. Is graduating Friday too. I know it's we have, we have two graduates on Friday and a cosmetology grad. Mm -hmm. Right, make sure mm -hmm. I just make sure that I don't have their ears folded because that's just uncomfortable if they're laying there for an hour with their ears folded in. Okay, are you comfortable? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I've got my brushes. Um, I'm going to do just like a little quick skin analysis. I'm going to check her skin out. i got hand sanitizer. Some of that. Somebody's taking a shot. Not a shot, but mm -hmm. a shot. Mm -hmm. It's like, did we find... I don't have to do any more shots. So happy. That's a relief, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So when I'm doing like a little preliminary skin analysis, I'm always touching the skin. I want to feel where it's dry. I want to feel if she's got any breakouts. She's got some right around her chin. She's got a good one right here. I can just, it makes me drool. So how's so, your skin? I mean, how do you, do you have concerns about it? It's always well, dry. Just dry? You dehydrated? Are you drinking a lot of water? No. Um, are you under a lot of stress? Yes, of course. Of course. Um, and what are your skincare goals? Mm, to get all, the, get all this off. All the acne. Okay. It looks really good right now. It, she, her skin looks really good. She's a little pink. Hey, when's the last time you exfoliated? Yesterday. I got a nano. <laughs> nano. So that automatically tells me I'm going to be gentle on her skin because she got a nano. And so I might not, if I'm going to do an exfoliation, it's going to be extremely light. So I might do a milk foliant because um, she's a little dry, but yeah, we'll see. All right, Mama, I'm going to go get some pre-cleanse exfoliant. You have massage, mask, moisturizer, sunscreen, and then you got some serums over here. So the very first product we're going to get is our pre-cleanse. And pre-cleanse is the, always the very first um, product that we use. So, and it's one pump. Everything that we use is one pump. That's all we need. It's very highly concentrated, so you don't need that much. So, that's all I'm going to grab at this point, because that's the only cleanse I'm going to do before I do a skin analysis. And then that's going to really decide what I'm going to use on your skin. So I'll come back and get box after that. Who all's going? Just me Is and you and your boyfriend? boyfriend? How do I know that? I tried to invite all my friends and they're too busy. <laughs> All right, so this is what I call a pre-spread. I'm just gonna get it on her skin. So temples, slide down, and all I'm doing is getting it on her skin. Temples. Now, I'm gonna do at water. You always put pre-cleanse on dry skin, and then you add water to it, because this is an oily cleanser, so all it's doing is getting the makeup, any dirt and debris off. So now I'm gonna wet my hands. This is where this towel comes in, stop the drips. And now I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna do my three spreads. All right, so first one down, a couple of circles, cross, <laughs> tuck your lips in. <laughs> They're Around so the eyes, three times, and then temples. And you're going to do this three times. And this is called your spreading. Sorry, I am not used to wearing nails. I know that you're going to feel them. 
but they sure are pretty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Even though they're hanging on by a thread. <laughs> if I flip a nail off at y'all, you better pick it up because I'm going to stick it back on. <laughs> All right, so now I've done my three spreads. Now I'm going to go into my cleansing procedure. Cleansing procedure is roll padding on the neck. <laughs> and then we're going to do our figure eights on the jawline. Y'all seen the video of this yet? No? I'll have to show you today where to find it. Kira's already won't know where my YouTube channel is. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I was trying to listen. I have, I have a lot of pictures in my heat. Oh, here she comes. Breakfast girl. Oh, Amber's in here? Right here. Oh, must be nice. <laughs> yeah. All right. Chin. Upper lip. <laughs> she already knows what's coming. She's tucking her lip. You don't want your lips clean? They're so chapped. I know. That's why you need them clean. You should have got them. Do you ever nano the lips? Hollywood. I love to. I love to do that. Roll padding up the cheek six times. Go to the other side six times. And then you're going to do inner cheek. Now I'm going to crisscross my thumbs. Huh? That's Amber. This is Amber. Okay. I'm going to slide down one side. Get that crease. That's where all the makeup and stuff hides. Get around her nose ring. Because that nose ring holds a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and then this way. And now I'm going to the top. Fingers back on. Circles. Temple. Press in. Anything come off? Drop my hands. Grab a towel. So the way we do the towels, the way I do my towels, are different than the way Natalie is doing her towels. I do it your way. You do it my way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Find the label if you have a label. Some of them have them, some of them don't. But I do not want that label to touch my client. And I catty corner my towels just like this. The first thing I do is I put my corners down around the shoulders and I drape it across the decollete and I just press all that heat. Feels so good. Makes you want to go to sleep. Catwalk. Now you do this, I know, because you've given me a facial before. Cross the lip and over each eye. And then I'm just going to press again. You always want to test the temperature make sure it's not too hot on the client because remember she's sensitive she's had a nano yesterday so we always want to keep it a little bit more uh, warm than hot everything goes down now my thought process and this is the way i was taught in school is that you always put cleanser going up the face because you want it to go into the pores and clean the pores out but when you remove it you go down the face because you don't want to push dirty cleanser up into the pores. That's the way I was taught. You're going to find so many different ways. How do you do it? Do you do it like Natalie? No, the towel? Yeah. No, I do it like you. You do it like me? Oh, yeah. I'm so happy. I'm the black sheep of that. She is the black sheep. But it's, you know, it's, it's the way that we were trained. And it's so funny that everybody is trained so differently, but you end up with the same kind of results or, you know. But the reason we do a pre-cleanse is I just want her skin clean so that we can do a good skin analysis. So, oh, sorry. It's here. All right. So, I'm going to put her goggles on. Wow. Here, over your eyes, just to help to protect them from the light. This is going to be a little bright. And what I'm going to do is pull this a little forward because I want to get really close. I'm going to look at her pores. We're looking at her pore size around her nose. You, you've got smaller pores on your nose, so you don't run that oily. Come on, you can look. So I'm looking for larger pores, but really, I see pores. Mm -hmm that they're not large. So maybe she runs a little normal. Ah, oh, Amber's normal. <laughs> That's a good thing. Skin when I first <laughs> She's got that one going. <laughs> so I'm just trying to decide how I want to go with her you know, skin. You want to see this way? 
So it's just a, a magnifying glass that just brings everything closer so that you can see it. So. If I was going to do extractions, this is what I would be looking for to see what I would want to do extractions on. I'm going to need you to get this on her ear because, oh, what is it? Right here on my finger. <coughs> that would really, I mean. Is it a bow? It's a little blackhead. That's oh, my that's favorite, favorite thing. Yes. <laughs> it's right here. Oh, you want to see it? And you probably can't even see it with the naked eye. Yeah, when we first started, she had like a bump on her underarm, and she was like, <laughs> I think this is an indrawn here. And I was like, Amber, I think that's a blackhead. <laughs> and we were sitting in Miss Ray's class, and I squeezed it, and it was a blackhead. <sighs> and she said it had been there for like, what? Did you have gloves on when you did this? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. It's off. <coughs> Witch lamp. Bum, bum, bum. Do me a favor, Meg, and will you turn the lights all the way out? I want a dark, dark, dark room. Okay, so this is our woods lamp. This is going to show us skin conditions. These are things that we can actually work on on the skin. Skin type, we can't change. You know, your pore size is your pore size. We can make them appear smaller, but we can't change the size of the pores. So I'm going to turn this on, and I'm going to turn this off. I want it dark, dark. So now I'm going to look at her skin, and I'm going to see what I see. What the world? This is very interesting. Do you have self-tanner on your face? <laughs> I told you I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said look Funny. at my face. What does it look like? So, it's a purple streak. Oh. Just straight down I her nose. I literally just did it last night. <laughs> <laughs> it is straight down her nose. Look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I said, oh, what is going on? It's like you got a bruise on your nose. <laughs> too funny. I look like a Okay, so there, don't, don't get too comfortable because there's something else I want to show you. So there's different colors mean different things. Brown, of course, is your hyperpigmentation. Freckles could be. Um, orange is oil that's down in the follicles, which she doesn't have a lot of. Um, the only place I see oil is just right like in the corner of the nose. And I see some yellow, and yellow is bacteria. So come here and look at this. This is very exciting. <laughs> see where you see yellow? Where you see it? That's kind of hard. To, oh, right at the nose. Right there. Look at that There's yellow. one dot. Yeah. And so guess what that tells me? She has got an extraction that is full of bacteria. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we need to do is get rid it. of the bacteria. Sorry. The skin. <laughs> oh, the, oh, there. That's a good one. You can see it. Isn't that some down here? I'm sure. You see the spray tan. I mean the tanning. Yeah, it's. I love. Um, I love a woods lamp. <laughs> That's like you want to come see it? Come here. Yeah, is it? Is it like? Don't we have a woods lamp like built into our like magnifying glass from the beach? Come here, look. It's to, up to you. Can y'all see without the? Um, okay, good. We'll just. It, it, can you see? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So I'm just going to kind of position this. I don't want it shining directly into her eyes, but I want y'all to be able to see. So the, now I know what I'll need to work on. Sensitivity for sure. So I'm going to keep it calming and hydrating. All of our products for the ultra calming line are calming and hydrating. It's the products that they have in it. So if you're dry, dehydrated, it's going to add moisture. If you are sensitive, redness, it's going to calm that down. The ingredients in it. And that's what we're going to work on when y'all start getting your presentations. We're going to learn the, the ingredients of those and find out what those ingredients actually do to your skin. So now I'm going to let you relax and I'm going to go get some more products. Okay. If not, they're just graham crackers. So if you do not want the graham crackers, move on. If you want bananas, 
Don't want bananas. Move on. You want a cherry. Come age on. smart or aging is the morality. So there's different. You know, it's rare that you smell it, but <laughs> <laughs> it's it's everywhere. <laughs> and then I'm going to use the ultra calming mist, which I'm going to put in my pocket because I don't have hands. Have bananas. Bananas. No, I hate bananas. You can get a cherry. You don't have to have cherry, but you have to know what they represent. Okay, you eat cherries, I can use my bananas. I mean, this is breakfast of the champions. Which one do you want? Uh, you do about a quarter size of mask. I'm sorry, it's been in my car for an hour. So, it's so probably if I say a pea uh, size or a quarter size, yes. let's just tell you. Yes. About a quarter size. It'll be easier to eat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to use. Home water gel. This is her moisturizer. Oh, Lord. I'm gonna pull this table because I'm afraid I'm gonna drop it and I can't get the blades open. So pull this table out here so you have places to sit these things down. And that is this is your moisturizer. Now, large piece of love with sunscreen. Okay, sunscreen. I guess it can come on this side. This is SPF for 30. It's got a little bit of to it. I need to get some invisible physical fence in here. So, a lot of pea size of that. This is a great one to use if you're going to put makeup on afterwards because it's almost like a primer. It's very smooth. Um, but Kayla uses it as her family. She loves the tint. So I'm not going to do an exfoliation. So on the day that y'all do your facials, I'll work with y'all on which exfoliation we're going to do on each other. Okay? So we're going to keep it simple. We're going to keep it light with Miss. Uh, sensitivity and I'm going to take some water cleanser. I don't know that you do this, do you? Do you add water to your cleanser? Not or like I could just get it on my hand. Okay, okay, okay. So I do this for a reason. Hi, Cheyenne. Um, I do this for a reason because if somebody's dehydrated, their skin and my skin, because I know I'm dehydrated, it's just going to suck the moisture out, and I'm just going to have to keep adding water, keep adding water, so that I stay, you know, slick on the surface so that it moves. So if I do this, and I add it to my cleanser, and I put it on with a brush, I'm not absorbing the water. She's absorbing the water, who she needs it. I need it too, but I'm doing this for her. <laughs> now, anytime you put something on with a mask brush, it's going to be cooler, because your hands will heat it up. You put your uh, cleanser on with your hands, don't you? I use hands so, for everything. I'm going to warm my client. I guess it's going to be a little cool. So I'm going to start at the forehead. I'm going to just put it all over her skin. Get a little more. Real cool. And come to the neck. Decollete. Remember that your neck and decollete is all part of the facial. Please do not miss that. Especially on me because my decollete and neck need it. I'm old. Okay, done. Now, wet my hands. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to start my three spreads and one cleanse. And it's so just easy to go now. She's got plenty of water. Oh, here they come. It's the whole gang. The whole gang is here. <laughs> We're here. Is it Lily? And yes. Madeline. And Maddie. Madeline. <laughs> Who do I keep calling you? Madison? Yes. <laughs> I just stopped correcting you. I know. Just, just call me something. Madeline. Madeline. That's, that's, that's what we call you. Three spreads, and then I'm going to go into my cleansing procedure. All these girls are getting ready to graduate. Mm hmm. Sorry about my nails. Figure eights on the jaw. The whole cleansing procedure should take about 10 minutes, including your skin analysis. 
So 10 minutes. Roll patting up the cheek, other side, around, and we're going to do the inner cheek. Dang, is that Ambersol? Yes. <laughs> it's probably my family because my cat died. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the way you said they're, it. They're sending their condolences to you. I saw my mom, we have to have a funeral for it. <laughs> do you have a funeral for her? Mm -hmm. Good yeah, for you. Scary. Press in. Come on. Grab a towel. Oh, Tigger. <laughs> Find your navel. Boom. Shake it out. Get your catty corners. I test on my wrist. This is why you always make sure your wrists are clean. Corners down the shoulders. Does that feel as good to you as it does to me? Mm -hmm. I love this part. This is yeah, like, oh. So Alyssa massaged me yesterday while my mouse was sitting there. It felt so good. Oh, yeah? I did that to Miss Shirley, my little 80 year old. Sh Shirley loves you. She I says, gosh, my do toes are you. curling. Is she going to travel to see you? I doubt it. She has to like take care of her husband full time. Yeah, I know. I might travel down here and give she her She used one. to come to Miller Mott when Miller Mott was open. <clears throat> She'd come and get massages and facials and hair. And, and then she found us here. So She cracks me up. Mm -hmm. She scares me because she just be cussing it up in here. I'm like, oh, God. He loved it. <laughs> he came out giggling. <laughs> And she was talking that's about him, too. Well, to well that's right what, because he she talked to her on the phone, what, the day or two yeah, before? Yeah, he was like, I think she graduated already. She she was like, well, I thought you done just graduated. Right, who are you going to send her to? I don't know. You better pick her somebody that's getting ready just to come out on the clinic. That way she's got them for a long time. Yeah. yeah. She's going to go with you. Nice and clean. Okay. So, as I said, I'm not doing exfoliation, but this is the point where you would do your exfoliation. So exfoliation, when you're using the uh, powder exfoliant, which you get in your kit, daily microfoliant, any of the foliants, all you do is add water to it, foam it up till you don't feel the granules anymore, and then you apply it to the skin, and you're just doing circular motions. So just like that. Decollete too, don't forget that. Part of the facial. And then you're going to remove that. The next step is going to be the mask. So exfoliation and extractions, 10 minutes. Don't go any farther than 10 minutes because if you do, your client will want to punch you in the nose because extractions are not, they don't feel good. So, you know, so I've seen some students work on somebody for 30 minutes and I'm like, girl, I will be knocking you out. <laughs> so mask. I am going to use another mask brush. Actually, I'm going to use the same mask brush. I'm just going to rinse it out, and I'm going to add water. And this is an oatmeal mask. We love an oatmeal mask. This is probably, is that everybody's favorite? Uh, oh, uh, this is probably my favorite. Hi. Hey. How are y'all? This is just gonna calm her skin down. The oatmeal is really calming. Always warn your client that this might be a little cool. <laughs> There's no mite to it, it's gonna be cool. Don't freeze you to death. I watched somebody do a facial on, they put it on their YouTube, not their YouTube, their uh, Instagram, one of my students, and they were using two mask brushes and doing, and I love that. I want y'all to get creative. Come up with your own way. It feels good to the client when you do that. If you can do it, you know, uh, smoothly and not jabby. You can also put a mask on with your hands. You do not have to have a brush. Neck. Do not forget the neck. And decollete.
So now what I'm going to do is just let her relax. I'm going to take all my stuff that I've already used over to the sink, and I'm going to be cleaning it up. So this mask will stay on 10 minutes. Notice that everything we do has a 10 minute, 10 minute, 10 minute, 10 minute. So after I take the mask off, then I've got 10 last minutes, which equals 60, um, to uh, put her moisturizer, toner, sunscreen, and all that on. So. We love great. All right. I don't see a label on this one, so that's a good thing. I don't have to worry about scratching her up. So we're gonna stain it really good, keep it cool. Caddy corner, corners down the shoulders. You know when women get stressed, they draw inward and up. <laughs> yeah, so this is what I do. I kind of press the shoulders so that it opens that chest up and then press their shoulders back down where they're supposed to go. And it's an automatic relaxation for her. Make sure they can breathe. <laughs> Don't smother her. I did that to my Who was it, Lily? No, it wasn't. Oh. That was our oh, boyfriend. <laughs> that was on purpose. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. And no. He, he was like, I can't breathe. He threw a towel off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't smother your client. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you get the mask out of their nose. There's nothing worse than a client going out to their car looking in the rearview mirror and seeing a mask all up in there. Here comes Kayla. She's videoing me. Do you want me to hold I it? Can. Or okay, she yeah. can hold it. Is it still going? Mm-hmm. And just hit that pause when you need to. Don't you zoom in. Okay. Moisturize sunscreen. Hey, I'm using a calm water gel, which is going to add some hydration to your skin, and it's also going to calm your skin down. And I just kind of do a little three spread thing, just to make sure that I've got it all over. Um, on your lips, grab some of that either the um, multivitamin power firm and put that on your lips or just a tiny little bit of the barrier repair it's awesome for chapped lips i need it too listen y'all do it to each other okay give y'all each other a lip treatment and maybe you will have points on your application grade sheet sunscreen now the sunscreen I'm using is your Tinted Moisturizer Sunscreen. It's the Skin Perfect Primer. Have you used that yet? My favorite one. Who, me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I use it all the time, but I don't, I'm not a fan of it on me. It's too, She's like, matted up. <gasps> really? I like so it. We use, use it for everything. Well, we're going to see if it mats up on her. I like to be shiny. <laughs> oh. Yeah, because this is a matte. But no, Alyssa puts it on me still. Oh, I forgot. <gasps> I forgot. Shame upon me. I always forget to. Yeah. So the toner is always going to go before you put moisturizer on or sunscreen. You want to spray. And the toners that we use are not like an antiseptic toner or a, an astringent type toner. They are more of a hydrating toner. So you want to hydrate the skin and then you want to put moisture right over the top of it to trap that moisture in. But your toner that you get in your um, kit, which is the multi-active toner, um, you can use that throughout the entire day and just spray it, you know, because it's going to hydrate your skin throughout the day. I even use it as a, a set or when I put my makeup on, you can use it as a setting spray. When you do spray toner, always make sure that you're protecting the eyes, not spraying it up their nose. 
I like to torture my clients, so I'm gonna, mm. I'm gonna spray. But you can spray it on your hand and just pat it in too. And it's still chapped. You should have let me scrub it. That's okay. All right, keep your eyes closed. I'm gonna spray you. I hold it up and I kind of spray it out and just let it fall on the client. It's taking her breath away, but it's so refreshing. <laughs> and then you're just gonna press it in. And then you will put your moisturizer right over that and your sunscreen. I'm gonna put the light over here because I wanna see your skin. Make sure I got all the mask off. All right, dearest, I'm gonna let you get dressed.